sponsors. Singapore is a highly developed country, and I was able to figure out the train system in no time and ride from my hotel to the Silat training facility. There, I met two-time world champion Shakar Juanda. Shakar holds an impressive record, including multiple world titles in tanding or fighting. He also won bronze in Ganda, or two-person skit, at the 2015 Southeast Asian, or Sea Games. He's one of the few Silat practitioners that won medals in both sparring and artistic divisions. As you can see, these are the paddings that we use for kicking. Okay. okay. Shakar gave me a full tour of the Singapore Silat training facility. Okay. We usually normally use this because it's quite comfortable for us to hold. Knee pads, shin pads yeah. for safety. Uh, triangle cones for hurdles. Leather right. is for stretching. Um, this is a very, very heavy punching bags. Ooh, yeah. Uh, stationary bikes. Okay. Oh, yeah. This actually weights 60 to 80 kilos. Oh, okay. Just now, these are the Brother John's family. Brother John family. So 60 kilos, mm -hmm. 45 kilos, okay. and 80 kilos. Oh, and you have more of uh, Mr. Scissors. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Crocodile. <laughs> Crocodile guy. You got the. Yeah. You got this. Boom. Yeah. So these are the heavy weights. Yeah. Um, hurdles for agility. Oh, okay. for agility. Um, gym ball, mm. balancing, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Locks. so you can do jump up and down. Jump up and down, and this actually the different uh, heights. Uh, battling ropes. Okay. This mm -hmm. heading up here. So what you do with this is actually, as you can see, this, this is quite thin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is to be placed on your abdomen. Oh, okay. And you put your ass <laughs> okay. So, so you have to get used to kicking and stuff. Usually, mm. what we do during training is we blast music. Uh huh. So, and Team Silat! Training with Shaker was awesome. First, we did stretching. Next, we reviewed Tangkapan and Jatuhan, trapping and dropping techniques. Wow. 
Sheikh Alauddin joined us and showed us a few techniques. Then we reviewed more advanced penchaxila techniques, such as gunting or scissor and buaya or crocodile techniques. The next day, I worked with former national athlete, Ms. Noor Fazlin Jumain. Noor Fazlin competed in Ragu, or three-person form, and won multiple competitions, including silver medal at the 2015 SEA Games. And Noor Fazlin Jumain. She taught me the basics of the Gracio curriculum that they use to train the younger students. It's a very structured curriculum with each set of techniques divided into 10 sets, 10 kicks, 10 blocks, 10 hand positions, etc. I memorized two of their basic forms that they teach all of their athletes and tried to master the entire level one curriculum to Yellow Belt. My final training session was with Coach Galu, where we reviewed Tongal and Regu forms. And finally, we studied Ganda, or choreographed fighting skit. I was able to memorize four sets of techniques, which include empty hand, golok, toya, and knife set. Finally, my 13-day across Asia came to an end. 
It was a great experience and I met many great athletes, coaches, and super friendly people. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Anytime yeah, when you come to Egypt, please join our family in Pichaxila to talk with you, okay? Oh, we are the best in Egypt, okay? Each team had its unique specialties. Team Indonesia being the artistic elements. Malaysia being their unique physical training regimen tailored specifically for Penchak Silat. When training with the Thailand coach and Vietnam team, I could see coach Suartono's focus on developing new innovative techniques after mastering the basics. Team Singapore had by far the most modern and well-equipped facility and provided me with the most structured training. I even got a certificate at the end. Mastering Pinchak Silat takes a lifetime, and Sport Silat is one small but important part of this journey. I thank God for this opportunity to continue to train and encourage everyone to learn more about this amazing art of Pinchak Silat. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Penny Appeal USA, Small Change, Big Difference. By Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S. And by Recycle Processes Incorporated.